I dated a Jamaican for five years. That's how I got into Bob Marley's house and blessed by the Rastafarians in Kingston, yeah. Jamaica. <laughs> Y'all know what time it is. Blacks and Tequila. I'm your host, Reek Roulette. Uh, as usual, I got my co-host with me. Let me go to Damo today. Mr. Run Em Up. Hey, man. It's Straight K1102, the fat nigga that love eating ass. You dick. And uh, today we... <laughs> We got some special guests in here today. He on his bullshit. We got some guys that really can vibe out, give you the live show, hit anything y'all need to do, hit the tours, a hey, beach out of bank style. You know what time it is. I got Mr. Josh Wells and Pierce in the building. And they fucking smell good. Hey, it's Rico Suave, <laughs> 1369 times five. Y'all remember yeah. that when you called? Good God. Rico Suave, 1369. Good God. Pierce Gloss in the third, 69. Yep. Mm, mm. Was Look that your up. Yahoo account? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Relax. God. Damn. Damn. So. We'll get to that later. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna have a fun show for y'all today. That's called the body count. Yep. Oh my! <laughs> that man had to hit Roman numerals. <laughs> Drop the mother. I don't have a hat. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I right. showed the body today. No, 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 put, yeah. that Yo. put that shit back up. Hey. <laughs> I'm bald and I'm proud. <laughs> But yeah, yep. we got a good one today. We're gonna have a good. We're gonna have some fun. So, hey, <laughs> women like Morris Chestnut. That is actually valid. Really That's cool. I wish it's like I Morris Chestnut. My mom took a picture with Morris Chestnut in Winston Salem State. She got it in the box right now. All I'm asking, hey, all I'm asking is, can I host? <laughs> Hey, but uh, <laughs> you need to go on in. <laughs> get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> so, but can I get? Can I hold some Morris? What you like to hold, man? What some damn need? money. Yep. yep. Talk to me after Feel the show. No Can't show the people what you know. Work. No with, problem. You know. Shit. He talked to them afterwards. But yeah, I'm Harper. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're on Blacks and Tequila today, and as usual, what did you gentlemen pull up to listening today? What y'all vibe out to today? We'll start with the guests this week. Oh, man. Well, uh, what were you guys vibing to? Some, y'all some of the vibes up? I was listening to is uh, I really like uh, Thin Lizzy. They've got a, you know, black uh, and uh, strong Irish man. He's actually one of one of the really prominent parts of of that music. I've been listening to this band called The Velt, and they're out of Raleigh. Mm. Super, super great uh, community of people. The uh, yeah, yeah, they actually opened for Living Color. Don't way say back too in much of that name, man. I'm hypnotized by the belt. Don't say belt too many times. The belt, the <laughs> belt, on, not man. the belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, hell no, me too, man. Fuck that. Nope. <laughs> nope. I was going to say some shit. Can you see what the hell did Hold you on, Yeah. Man, Josh didn't go. Oh, shit, he was in the they same video. They was in call. the same video. No, nah, oh. nah, fuck, no, look, <laughs> are, look, man, there's What'd you vibe to We today? are five unique individuals that all have right a about purpose that. You're fucking, right about that. Okay, uh, sorry, sorry, Mr. Wells, sorry, Mr. Wells. Yeah, sorry, hell sorry, yeah, well, no, no, nah, nah, we're all, look, we, we've gone back since 2002. Okay. So, so, yeah. so, no, yeah. Mr. Nine, but we all friends. But, okay. that being said, what you, man, personally, me, before I was showing him your video, when we pulled into the driveway, I was like, and that, hey man, that is what it was. That's what exactly what I was doing. And dirt road slaps. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I bet y'all weren't expecting that. There's a video. But you got there. Nah, nah man. Oh, hold on. I want There's a I video to dirt road. Well, yeah, no, th- 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 not a oh, video, but there's that. a little sneak peek, man. I had to scroll three or four different times because my thumb kept hitting the fucking over button. And every time I, yeah, you know it's true. Every time I got to it, it fucking went back, and I was like. Mm-hmm. 
And uh, <laughs> this, I had to kiss girl again. <laughs> and then, yeah, so that was that. But <laughs> on a normal day basis, man, like, oh, I, I fuck with, like, I love reggae, man. Y'all can say what you want, but oh, I've, been yeah. Bob Mar- I've been to Bob Marley's house, man. I've been to Kingston. Hey. I've been blessed by Rastafari's. I got pictures to prove it all. And long story that, short, you? yeah, man, I, I'm a, I, I, reggae is my hobby, man. You know what I mean? And, like, uh, I play what I play it for my living, and then, but, like, in my off time, I've always wanted to play reggae, but then when I started playing music, I was like, I can't do, I can't. That's my hobby, you know. You can't that's how like, he was drawn to rock, man. Hey, so we bring that we, spinal we, tap. We, oh yeah, that, that, is, <laughs> that was a fucked up night. We ain't gonna oh, talk God. about that. Yeah, What'd you yes. pull up to, Doc? Um, a whole lot of shit. I mean, uh, the, whole lot, a whole lot. The driver was playing a lot of stuff, but uh, one he played, uh, I don't even know the name of it, but it was some ball greasy, and it was a, uh, you know. It, nice. it, well, yeah, uh, it, it was a good one. I don't know the name of it, but it, it was. A, I've heard it before. It was a good one, and of course, I pulled up with some unreleased Damo. It's always gonna be that, you know. So yeah. it's coming soon. But shout out to these guys for pulling up, listening to that dirt road. Now we're oh, gonna yeah. head over to Mister Eats Ass. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, like, I'm an individual. Okay, sorry. sorry. Don't look <laughs> at me no. like I'm some puckered up. <laughs> That is so, definitely a name that is unique. Know, you can't uh, forget that shit. Beautiful <laughs> guns and bells. Beautiful oh, man, guns Who is that? Bells. Well, you don't know nothing about that is. Mm. <laughs> so you put me on something. You put me on something, man. Damn. As long as he ain't late, man. Okay. As fuck. <laughs> beautiful. Hey, now nah, I'm gonna play it as soon as it. Okay. Yeah. Y'all ready? Mm. Right. <laughs> and it's called guns and bells. Guns and bells. Damn. I might go there. Hell, what them niggas no. don't know? I, I damn sure don't. <laughs> well, I was chilling today, personally. I was on some Travis Scott and Young Thug. Pick up the phone, yeah, baby. Pick up the yeah. phone. Yeah. So that's a good yeah. I'm gonna tell you, Travis Scott. I, I love, love some tra- oh, Travis Scott. I'm gonna get my little. I was just vibing out. From, you know, yeah. Purple smoke hanging from the rafters. So mm-hmm. that was good. But I was also a little intoxicated. So. So. <laughs> but all I know is I hear goosebumps every time. That song, yeah, that's a good one too. I'll take a shot yeah, to that shit. But yeah, let's start the show off with hey, Blacks and Tequila. I'm sure you <laughs> took yours. Who didn't? But okay. <laughs> all right. Well, damn. Well, I took mine early because he they took his already. My shades so I were on, and look, I might need to go to the Betty Ford Clinic. Who knows? Good no, I'm just I'm just X that <laughs> part out. But you know, maybe you know James Taylor was there. If, J- if James they, Taylor can do it and Matthew McConaughey, I can do it too. Why the hell did you give him the remote? Yep. I'm playing what he told me to play. But um, oh. so I can't wear. Long story short, I can't wear shades on inside anymore because obviously I can't see. Goddamn. Now, now light here though. You good? <laughs> you, it's good. It's good. So it's thought that counts. So you guys are, <laughs> so you guys are in a band, correct? Yeah. What yep. is the name of you guys? We're, we're in a band called Pretty Odd. And pretty so are all y'all, man. man. That's pretty dope. So is everybody else, man. It's all wheeze, 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 wheeze. Because from the person on stage playing to the sound man to the fans <laughs> supporting us, it's all wheeze, man. It takes a village to get to the top, and we are Heck one man. Yeah. And that's why I preach I'm nonstop. I'm and sure like, yes, yeah, so there is no it's well, French class of this bitch. You've already started pretty strong. This right here is our gym jars. He got a sack of rocks that he said he hit people in the face with. Oh, yeah. Y'all want to see that shit? <laughs> he's got it pulled up right here in his pocket. He do. He yeah, got a sack of rocks. He said if the energy get off, he's, whoever ain't got the energy. You he rocking him. people? Say, yeah. No, no. Look, all right. So, look, look, look. Yeah. This, this is, is what we mean when we oh, say we play know. rock. Yeah. No, yeah. So, <laughs> long story <laughs> short, I got a sack of gems and, like, and I've not always been in on this. Chords you know? and, and I've not always been on the, the peaceful yeah, side of life. But right. how I justify my actions when I'm with my bandmates is people like, we have a, a, a motto, man. You, you can love a spaghetti monster for all we give a fuck. We don't care as long as you're happy and be groovy or leave. And if you fuck up our show or the vibe, then I'm going to come off stage with a bag of fucking crystals from the earth and i'm gonna slap you with them and say look man get your chakras right <laughs> and get your vibes good because get those chakras back if, in line if, if i can do it you can do it too man sometimes you know people do like, okay yo. next <laughs> sometimes people's chakras are off like you know we're gonna put we're just gonna put them all right here <laughs> but um okay, yeah, y'all so, have no idea because he already hit some powerful ones man <laughs> this shit getting weird in here my pretty <laughs> eye my fingers and shit shaking. he has some powerful but, uh, ones so this is the gym jar you want to tell him what the gym jar is dog? jam droppers 
don't know how many gems y'all might drop. He's already drop, dropped one. But I don't, don't want to drop them that far. Okay. Well, okay. Since we're going to since you're here, we're going to give you a special today. Just slap the jar. Just slap the jar. Oh, oh, man. Just slap the jar. Just slap the jar. Not hard. Not yeah, hard. don't break it. All right, Pierce. There you go. Uh, Basically, uh, yeah. when it comes to <laughs> us coming together and different ideas, like you said, we're five individuals. So five individuals have five different mindsets, and everybody can learn from each other. Everybody can take from each other. You give to each other. And so every now and then, somebody drops something that is a gem that's precious enough for anybody, any of y'all in the views that's wanting to comment. There's something that they can pick up or whatever. And you definitely dropped the gem when you said it takes a village to make it to where you want to be. And that's definitely a gem for sure because – yeah, a lot of man. people don't realize they think they can do it with me, 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 I, I, I. Uh -huh. But really, it does take a village Hell to yeah, get where you need to yeah. be. Well, and I, I think that's one thing that's really important about our music is uh, when we go out and uh, appreciate other people, like their music, we, we try and create a, a positive vibe around us, you know, like a sense of community. And we do that for all the people we play with, you know, like we've run festivals out in Cedar Point and... Uh, I've run a festival out in Pittsburgh called Breathe yeah, in Walker the Air. Yeah. Walker World, Walker I play. Walker World, we love you. And uh, wow. what I learned Walker from that World, is, you know, you got to gotta spread weird. the love all across. <laughs> yep. Make sure the artists get paid. Yeah. You know, make sure that you I pay yourself a, a yeah. well That's amount, but also a respectful yep. amount. Yep. But everybody. also make sure that you spread the love, not just to the bands, not just to the people running the cameras or running the sound or playing yeah but the people in Who the want audience that and they want and the people feel that, that want to come back over and over again that's what's to up. the same vibe that's, so that's really question. important that's, that's, oh, my yep. oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> i love you oh my goodness you're the best how you feel about police brutality I'm gonna tell you, don't even get me started on this oh, shit, yeah. man. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now. Nah, no, no, hell no. Nah. I got something I want to say. EIPD, we got a fat ass lawsuit, Officer Biscuit. Yeah, Good not Biscuit. God. Biscuit. First off, <laughs> bust it out the can. So, oh no, fuck them all, man. Well, actually, I think that. He just hit that boozy. Let, let me just get. This is the politest way I can say it. Say you get on a Delta airline, right? Mm -hmm. And you get a pilot that says, "I." Uh, one bad apple in a basket. My ass, motherfucker. Like, no. Okay. <laughs> we might get over this mountain or we might not. I might be a bad apple of the pilots in the bed. No, you're going to kill everybody. No, fuck that. You cannot be a bad. Like, it takes a lawyer how many years to go to law school and then a, a police officer in six months. That's, that's like Kurt running around with a fucking bad. No. Not happening. All right. But, next question, dog. Yep. <laughs> Long so, short, you gonna make it home. Them. You gonna make it home. Hell, you get what I'm saying? They you tried, gonna make it home. They tried to kill me two different hey, occasions. Next, hey, 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 get, hey, what the fuck? Illuminati, change it! Hey, yep. Well, hey, yeah, well. Hey, yeah, Officer see, Biscuit. This man look like he from a uh -huh. damn era down. He landing them damn, he landing them playing. Hey. He look like he was a rally. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Your band is called Pretty Odd, right? Yes, it is so very odd. And it's getting it's very odd, odd in here. Yeah. But <laughs> we're all a little so, weird. Yeah, what, yeah, what, what does that name odd. come from? Yeah, what is where, what is uh where did pretty yeah. odd come from? Well, um the band started all the way back in high school for me. And I know Josh has some friends here from when he went to school at Croatan. Mm -hmm. uh, Correctional facility yep. <laughs> for years. <laughs> yeah, but the oh, name the name oh. actually came from Did some the, artwork I, I saw while I just pose. hanging around and uh, I saw this name for this album uh -huh. called Pretty Odd by Pretty Panic odd. at the Disco. I like Panic and I thought at the it was Disco. A, I thought it was the band's name and yeah. I was like, "Damn, man. They thought of a really good band name." Mm -hmm. uh, man, I, I wish I could have that band name and mm -hmm. I, I went on for a week trying to listen to this music and stuff like that and someone told me that the band's name was Panic at the Disco and I was like well damn I've got my band name figured out so that was Pretty it, it, it that, was it. that was it yeah that was it that and was after sure. that um, you know a lot of the music we've been listening to is like related to what the album is about is like resurging classic rock or classic um, power pop music it's mm -hmm. like um like the Beatles and the Rolling Stones, obviously. Right. And that, that was going to get like, to the next uh, question. What was you guys' inspiration for your band, sir? 
I would say a lot of it is like bands like Cheap Trick, Led Zeppelin, mm -hmm. uh, okay. the Classic. Beatles. Yeah, uh, but AC, but also DC? I love yep, ACDC. Yep. Guns N' Roses is great. Yeah. Guns N' Roses yeah. also a classic. Van Halen's a big oh, one yeah, for yeah, my yeah. buddy Wesley, who's not here really? with us tonight. But shout out to Daddy Wesley. Wesley. Hey, yep. Shout out to Wesley. <laughs> are they, are, do you have any? Do you have any inspiring bands, artists? Or, man, you know, I, sit on up. I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm gonna tell you when I thought I was gonna be a musician, I started mm -hmm. playing like some M like MGK and all kinds of rap, oh, man. Like on up. the bass, you know, mm -hmm. like. I was I went through a bad breakup and then I was like, well, I'm gonna turn to bass and four fingers, four strings, E A D G, man, you know, and uh, you can come up with your own whatever to remember those. I ain't gonna say them on camera because they're a little, <laughs> a little out there. They're but pretty odd. They're pretty they're odd, odd, man, <laughs> you know. And uh, so then I met Pierce and them and I faked being a bass player and I was like, well, here we go. Well, it turns out I grew up on the beach. Well, I didn't grow you up on the beach. It. You know what I mean? Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then, like two weeks into the practice, I was like, I play percussion, guys. I don't play bass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already yeah. locked in. You know hey, what I mean? Deal well, with it. I mean, my dad taught me. He gave me a, a timing pad when I was a kid, and he was like, if you learn timing, you can learn anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't think. Slap like, that bottle, man. You know what Slap I mean? Slap that bottle for yeah. your daddy, man. Yeah, Get yeah. them damn chicks. Yep. No, 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 no. We want no, that rocker. No, no. That rocker. Slap Hey, Robbie Wells, look. I, I'm Ooh, you this, your dad's name is Roddy Wells? Robbie. I wish it was oh, Roddy. Like, that would be dope what, what, what as name? shit. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to that wave all the time. Just going to throw that out there for yes, my little sir. emotional situation. Rob, but, but, but we ain't trying to cry right now. Up. Keep going. So, <laughs> but, <yep. laughs> so, look, man, I was on the beach, man. I just grew up, like, I took that, and I guess I tapped all the time, you know? Like, anybody that knows me from Crow Tanner or any of the other schools, That's I just knocking. be tap, 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 you know? So, therefore, uh, I took that with me everywhere I went in life and then all of a sudden eight months ago met these cats and now I'm just tap 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 tapping away, tapping away man, sure, man and we're just doing our tapping thing we're moving and grooving and so what's your <laughs> what is much. your instrument that you are you know so I play mainly cajon and uh y'all chance and it serves as a multi-useful tool I've traveled many places I put my clothes in it I fucking really Hell yeah. It opens it's, up? It, no, no, it's got this, no, you it's got, got a sound hole in the yeah. back of it. Oh. You are not going to have... It's not like putting a pillow on the base. Okay, yeah. okay. Take, the, take the but, stuff off so he can yeah. show them. It's not, it's not oh, no, very... After this, I'm going to let you play some. We're going to get that uh, on. Yeah. Oh, sweet And then you're going to freestyle. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Like, what what do you play, out, Mr. Pierce? Mm -hmm. uh, so I play bass mm -hmm. uh, in the band, but I started off as a lead singer in high school. And I ended up going towards the guitar in the band just to add like another element, a rhythm guitar to wesley's lead guitar and uh then um after we left raleigh we we all ended up in emerald isle and uh our bass player he's he's still out in raleigh shout out to lewis shout out to lou and Big uh, lou! and um yeah! <laughs> and now i play bass Nice. And how many members is in uh, Pretty Odd? There are five members. Five. Yeah. About to be six. About to be About six. About to be six. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to be six. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. so, how long did it take you to become proficient enough to play the bass and feel comfortable to actually perform? About... Four months. <laughs> Four months. How long did it take you to become proficient enough to play that music box? No, I'm not. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. We, we bought. I'm not bullshitting you. We bought it at the pawn shop. Ain't nothing wrong with it. We walked out. Walked with it, out and started. And we playing played it. a show four days later. <laughs> no <laughs> way. <laughs> yep. Damn. There's a video on Facebook. Malibu Max on there. That's how we met Mackenzie, man. Good She'll be God. on another episode. Mackenzie will be here. Oh my goodness, all for the viewers. Sure. I cannot wait for y'all to meet her, man. That's she, your lead singer. No. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, actually, yeah. she because is. Because I, I heard yeah. her when you guys did your performance at the Outer Banks. She can blow. Is she going to yeah. be at the crew? She can blow, man. Like, Yeah, she's got dude, pipes. Dude, she's like, we met her outside the, well, we, we met, let me, let me rephrase it. We met each other outside of the pawn shop. Pierce and I, we were buying that box for the show, kind of just throwing everything together. And uh, we met her, and she was setting her up her own PA that she, like, saved the money to buy herself. She was setting it up herself. And uh, I was like, man, I respect this chick's hustle, man. We got to have her. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Shout like, out to the motherfucking pawn shop, yep, too. Yep, we got this. Swansboro yeah, Pawn. Yep. Let's yeah. go. Right beside you. Don Whalen. And you so, the man. You the man. Being, being a part of a group that's a collective of five individuals, how important is it for you guys to be on that same wavelength? 
because me, myself, and Dom and the crew, I'm known as Mr. Well, Rabbit Freak, give a damn. They are pretty as awesome. you can see. Mm -hmm. um, but, hey, we're just happy to be and here, And basically, <laughs> Rabbit yeah, Frequency yes, is yeah. us as complete individuals getting together and being on that same wavelength. And I feel like when us as a group, us as individuals get on the same wavelength, pretty much anything is possible for us. Yeah. And so, you know, like a TV, the old school TVs, you have those rabbit ears. Uh -huh. And once you get those rabbit ears adjusted, does that way you need it, that picture is clear. Yeah. And so as, as a people, yep. I feel like the same thing. Once we get on the same frequency and wavelength, the picture's clear. Yeah, crystal. And we can be... We can make it happen, whatever our goal is, whether it be podcasting, being in a band, being an athlete, being the best fry cook at McDonald's, and it, whatever Everything. it takes, Hell you yeah. can do it yep. as long as you guys work together and get on the same frequency. Exactly. So how important is that for your band to be on that same wavelength so y'all can catch the right vibe? And make sure the crowd is feeling you guys. Well, I think that's really important in a lot of uh, what we have gotten together and gotten on the same frequency was uh, with our last album. Like, Ooh. I was living in Milwaukee for a while. It's cold and out there, ain't it? It was fucking cold. <laughs> it was yeah, definitely cold. Yeah. And I uh, started writing while I was doing my grad school. And uh, yeah. I would call my buddy Wesley up and relay stuff to him he would bounce back some guitar stuff that he was messing around with and i would try and figure out whether my lyrics fit and or not and we mm -hmm. started getting on the same wavelength as soon as i came back from milwaukee to raleigh we found ourselves a studio called thread audio uh we nice. found a great producer named artem smirnoff my that's his oh, actual like last him, name hey. yeah. I want to meet this dude. which is yeah. awesome yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah he's he's out in new mexico now but um, what Oh, I can't Albuquerque? remember. That's that's a great question. I have no idea. I have plenty of trips Artem. out there in New Mexico myself. Huh? Yeah, but um, as soon as we got there. into that studio, uh, yeah. we, we started yeah, realizing that the people like there, they were on the same idea of kind of creating this creative project. They were podcasters. They ran their own radio show out of that house, uh, and they recorded bands. Nice. Uh, so I... As soon as we started up with that, we, we got some session musicians on tracks. I got uh, a guitar player from um, a band called Juxton Roy out in mm. Raleigh. Uh, that's Matt Graham. And um, we, we got him to come track some stuff. We got Travis Merchant, who's now in a band called Lazarus Pit, out there uh, to help us record on some stuff. And we got a cello player. Uh, really? on one of our songs it's called my prayer that's the name of the song Ooh, and yeah. it yeah. has yeah. cello yeah. and it was great the rest of the instruments were all us though like i so i played guys, bass on tracks i played piano so on tracks i played guitar awesome. on tracks yeah. i sang on tracks you know 99.8 percent was all pretty odd and pretty odd accessories that's where we're at yeah for sure dope, but yeah. we love everybody else we do love y'all but i'm gonna tell you right now <laughs> these three willow wesley and pierce all every hundred percent. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase. Ninety eight point nine five percent goes to Rico Suave thirteen sixty nine, which is Phil Clausen the third. Look his dad up online. <laughs> Van Dad Phil, this is for you. And then Willow and Wesley, man. I'm gonna tell you, we Mackenzie and I got dropped in a golden like goose basket, man. I hear all these big bands, and we travel with Dr. Bacon, Treehouse, Cincy Trails. We've been all over the state of North Carolina with many of these bands, and they're all over 10, 20,000, 30,000 plus followers. Look them up. If you don't believe me, we're about our credentials and research. As Streak said earlier, we yeah. do our research around here before For we start sure. getting on doing whatever we're doing, you know? So, and I forgot to ask know, besides the bass, why. besides the music box, what are the other three instruments that are in the band to collectively make? Drums. Pretty odd. Yeah, so so we have a drummer uh, behind the kit. Willow Pat and um, Mama Willow. Yeah, oh, and we have a guitar player, a lead guitar player. Uh, Mackenzie plays rhythm guitar as oh, well nice. as lead sing. Uh, nice. And uh, I play bass. Uh, sometimes we have uh, keyboards. We've had things like Glockenspiel on like a recording. That's like one of those little uh, xylophones. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, like one of the metal xylophones. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Is the wooden or is that the song. metal? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Saturday, We've had synthesizers. Out, yeah, we we yeah. used um, the studio Moog synthesizer at Thread Audio, and that thing was awesome. 
It was off the chain. It was so cool. And that's all what was in your those were the instruments you used in your last album? Yeah, in the last so, album. How many albums do you guys have? We have two. Uh, two. So actually, technically it's three, but uh, the first two were EPs, and we put the two EPs together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they were out, uh, recordings that we did back in high school. Mm -hmm. like, uh, and we were Just we were, creating uh, this down and getting it. Yeah, and we were still out. getting our way working towards what our oh, vision oh, is hey, now. Hey, and uh, girl, we decided to oh, put shit. the two oh, together, man, and so yeah, now it's like eight songs for this double ep so oh. it's like another album basically. that's pretty dope that's pretty dope and so where, we have where, where can we find that at? you can find yeah. it on spotify that's a really good place to look uh right now we, we've been getting some good traction well, on what? spotify <clears throat> so i've been pretty happy about Do that you want it in other places uh yeah yeah well we also have it on uh apple music and Bandcamp. uh the Bandcamp is uh probably the best money maker for us because okay. um they they support artists 100 percent. shout out, that shout is shout true. out to Bandcamp. That is true. Bandcamp, so, you are the mvps as soon as you make that money Bandcamp does not tax any of that damn so you can hey, you can get you you can get all of that's that. that's the artist controlling and actually gaining some steam and in, in investing in themselves and right. making a full profit in themselves and so that's important Ours is uh, pretty odd NC at Bandcamp or dot Bandcamp dot com. Go, go, and go. Yep. Stream them uh -huh. motherfucker. Yep. Stream them motherfucker. Yep. Yep. So yep. Yep. you guys said that y'all uh y'all went and got that music box at the pawn shop. Uh huh. And four days later, it was time to go. It pretty was time much. to get in that mode. What were you slapping okay. before the box? Yeah. Uh, honestly, a little hand djembe about this big. No, Oh, no, the, for real. The conga, or not conga, the bong, bongo. Bongos. The congas my dad got me before basic, yeah. Bong, bongo. But they are now, no, man. Somebody... This is what I said. What was you slapping before that box? I, I, oh. All I can say is I tell people, I get, I, get paid, <laughs> I get paid to show up on time and look pretty and slap box and then roll out. So yeah, I can he say just no comes more. to collect the check. I, I honestly well, thought that, it was well, dope. That's Wesley, but if there's some reinforcements to call the cavalry oh, and we get that check. Long story yeah, short, okay, yep. look pretty in slap box, guys. Well, you, you, you said it, man, when Rico Suave. Slap box, I mean, two bubblegum. And, <laughs> and I'm all like, I don't know about bubblegum, man. He was man, playing the, uh, <laughs> the music yeah. box. I just That's thought that was him dope that. as hell, well, just no, because the, the history that we have too. is friends and, and classmates and everything. And I was like, damn, he's playing it. He's fucking doing it. Like He's rocking out and getting it done. And I started doing my research on the music box, and I was like, Oh, this shit is fucking cool. Like, like it originated set, in man. Peru, also in West really? Africa. And so I saw that uh, it was something that the slaves used uh, nah, in Central Africa. <laughs> no, this is how nah, it started. Hell no. Nah. Slaves like, in West it, Africa and Central time, Africa, cool the origins, guy, uh, they, they came over care. here to South America, and that was the source of it. And they, they said that it was used as a way for slaves to get away of their expression and really put what they're feeling on out there. And so, how so, much- So what you're saying is they, they took another job. thing from us. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying that because I'm asking- well, y'all are educating how, me because How important I, is it when you real. start playing that you can get what you're trying to purvey to your crowd out? Actually, that, that, that provides a very good point, you man. You see because, what I'm saying? Yeah, no, Because the origins real. of it is deep and, and I know- it's inter no, no, listen, it's interesting. Just like I said, I'm new to a lot of things. You can ask my bandmates whether you believe me or not. I don't know the history of that, and I'm just now learning it, but it makes sense because of, like, I mean, if you... you hey, I'm trying... Look, I'm a one-track mind, man. I've done a lot of hallucinogens. But listen, it makes sense. But... the spirituals. Yeah, no, nah, for real, it does make sense. But, like, because I do really get into music, like, I'm like... I, I told the Suck band the other night... Vibe out. We pretty Man, how long we known each other? Since 2002, one, before high school, because yeah. it's definitely been longer than that. Yeah, and you was a pretty... Wow, motherfucker. Now you just wow, a pretty wow, boy. motherfucker. <laughs> Look, it took 28 years to put the, uh, the bear to sleep. That's what I just tell people, man. <laughs> Don't poke now, the bear. Don't poke the bear. He's hibernating. But it, 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 back to the original right, question, man. Like that—that That's pretty cool that you've done your research because I'm not going to lie. I've not done my research on the instrument yeah, yeah. I play. And, but it makes a lot of sense because I really do get into the music and like, I feel the music, like, in past videos, man, like, you'll be able to tell, like, where I zone in, 
And it's because like I feel what I'm playing, dude. And like I, it don't so matter. Did you, did you, did you, did the box give off a vibe? Yeah, hell that, and yeah. that's what I was curious yeah. about yeah. Well, because I know in I South travel. America yeah, yeah. it was like it came from like the fruit baskets that they carry, mm -hmm. and uh, it allowed them that at any moment in the porch if they just like this is too fucking much. I can put this down. I just Sit need to down. catch a vibe, and they would stop vibe what they're doing, out. stop yeah. work, and everybody feel it. What's going on? And yeah. so. For you to say, like, man, four days later, yeah. we got this thing yeah. rocking. It was like it had to have brought some character and some depth to the band. Yeah. And so I was like, man, that's pretty interesting. No, definitely. Actually, playing with uh, oh, more yeah. of a ry rhythmic, oh my God, my uh, sorry, rhythmic sense. aspect Whoa. to the band <laughs> has uh, definitely episode, encouraged yo, us to, you uh, story of history on me. You know, yep. try, try new things, like add in mm. new beats, like add in some character to now. the structure of the rhythm like, you know really like good. josh is yep. always playing yep. off beats from us. what uh yeah what Willow and played. that's what i but noticed that's what i noticed bad, but, but it's something it's that like different it, it changes it gives in. it levels from just being this flat sound to now it's i could work over here at this and you guys working here at that right and at the same time Brings it collides in. together and makes something that's beautiful yeah and you a lot, a lot of that came from uh yeah really dig in bands with two drummers for me mm. like uh bands like the grateful dead or the yeah. Allman brothers you wanna, band you know they both had two drummers oh, who would okay. play different rhythm parts on certain songs so that way people caught on like multiple vibes and they kind of had a little twitch to them yeah yeah <laughs> what you got dog what you got i got something go. what is it hit here. us with it the artist that you're looking for for a nice pretty odd feature and mix isn't me that's the guy down there i tell him this shit all the time his music is in this kind of environment yeah that's awesome i just that's like the, listening to the, some of everything well man. but I, he doesn't know what the fuck and you he, know what it, i'm I, this is why i like y'all yeah, because it, i'm gonna it, tell you right now i know both y'all because back from high school when our homework was due and we were gonna get zeros <laughs> you freestyled that shit on stage and there is a video of it so, ah! but the fact y'all's loyalty lies where it lies, and y'all oh, yeah. sitting here putting each other on, my type, of, like my my type of environment, I want to surround well, myself. Well, I, I support so. pretty odd, but I yeah, keep but... it pretty real. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Run that and back to the bank six times, man. Yes, yep, sir. Yeah, yes, uh -huh. sir. Yep. And so I mean, that's the only way to be is to keep it real. You can't you know. be a faker. No, I man, communication yeah. is key to life, dude, it, 100%. Let me take this bag and slap this for that. Yep, yep, yep. God, we're communication is, we're going, is everybody key. Like, jam it and really jam is. for you, jam it for really everybody. Is, yep, man. yep, yep. You know what <laughs> makes it so good to be a, in a pretty odd environment? is because when it flows, it flows, right? Yeah. So when the criticism comes, it's understood. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know what I mean? All Come of that flows. And you all learn. Real. Hey, take that, man. Here. Like, you know Come I mean? on, slap yeah. them bottles on. Yeah. Slap uh -huh. them bottles It's all yeah. real. That's why I like nah, this whole yeah. pretty odd movement. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Salute to y'all sure. guys. I like that. Yeah, because yeah. everything falls in a line with shit. So when you get constructive criticism and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not a falling out. Of because it's already thing. pretty odd. It's bullshit. Hey, right. It's just, it's you know, already that, odd. That it's name right. alone. But we're going to get through this segment. Yep. Yeah. Dope Dope we're going to get through it. Uh, we hey, no, 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 band band ever, just... no band ever started us yeah. as, as, you know, perfect. famous and perfect as ever. Mr. Lawton, shout oh, out. Man. Perfect. On other episodes, perfect. I'm going to have to shout stay tuned for those. But Mackenzie and I will describe with Pierce Claus in the third of 69 Rico Suave here. On how we became best friends and why what they're saying is so important. And why I can understand you got to be a very good friend and understanding for this man. I done seen the shit he put on Instagram and shit. He going to people's houses, walking in, waking them up and shit early in the morning. That's some shit to get you hurt, man. Slapping yep, shit, yep. man. We out here. It went pretty odd. Awesome. So is everybody else. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, at least it was my own house. So. No, we're talking, about, we're talking about David, little David Shoes, everybody's man. Little Shoes, uh, I love yeah, you. Yeah, maybe shoot, so. Man. You the man, man. Well, so, yep, you all right. Well, Time's. Y'all know Big Skull? Do y'all know Big Skull? No, but we want to. Fuck okay. It. <laughs> I don't think you want to know him now. I was going to ask nah, you. Nah, well, we got damn, nah, maybe. What does it take, what does it take for y'all to get, before a show, because y'all have done multiple shows, you named multiple festivals that you guys have performed at and worked at. I want some. What do you guys do to get in the mindset of like, it's time to make these people vibe out. It's time to make these people feel what we were feeling. Practice. And, Practice, man. Well, practice, practice makes perfect, well, man. And that, that, and yes, the thing, the yes. thing that we also have to do is we also have to kind of have like a 
a ritual hang. That, you know, yes, a ritual yeah, hang. Yeah. What is a ritual like, hang? Yeah, like, yeah, what that means old. is that we need to get together, be one Movie live, and, and also Movie just night, chill. They got to get together video and go on that game. rabbit freak. You know, we let Pierce take normal. over, and we let him do his little feng shui, and it usually turns into like, was it Spinal Tap we watched? Yeah, Spinal Tap. So y'all do these ritual hangs all the time? Yeah, hell yeah. How like, often do you do them? Uh, once a week. Yeah, I'm definitely. Oh. So I'm looking for an invite to one. Hell yeah. I'm hell yeah. see what that's yeah. like. Yeah, for yeah, sure. we call it the Tranquility Base Band. Now that we set the bottom stairs of the house up, well, actually, not we. Pierce set it up. He kind of bougied it out. I'm not going to lie. I was very impressed. Big we in have the our little, story, yeah, yeah man. I walked into like the kitchen area. And you it's can't like, give a man like Rico Suave the, name and think he ain't going to bougie nothing now. He gets more. I I thought I, back in the day, I used to think I got like, a lot. Man, this motherfucker <laughs> steals my women and everybody's women. You better Good watch out for God. me. Yeah, 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 I'm saying, Come on, Dom, because I know you got God, some questions God, about that. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Before we get there, what do you do to get in the vibe for the... Performance. So, How do you get channeled honestly, that Honestly, I tell I tell the band, I tell the band, I say, look, man, whether it's one perform or one audience member or a thousand, and I literally say this for every show, I say, I don't care if it's Come one on or a thousand. Give we're here to play all. music, and we're Come here for a hundred percent. Because at the end of the day, we just love playing music. I mean, That's we dope. like getting paid. Don't get us wrong, but like we, there's numerous shows we've showed up and just to do, do just to do it, deal. like. Like, I mean, we're about to go play a birthday party next weekend, Pierce and I, whether Hell it's yeah. five of us or four, three, two, one. Um, we're just going to go hold, hold do right it. There. You know? Hold right there. What is the, what is the, what, what is your word? What is your word? It's always good to what? Eat us. Come on, man. Yep. <laughs> I, I mean, I ain't going to. And, and let's, 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 let's they fart in your mother's fucking eye. Relationships. Uh, yeah, they might, they they might fart in your eye, man. What are you going to do then? You're always doing it. You're going to get pink eye shit running around with a fucking eye. Relationships. Relationships. There you go. Because that's what you're doing. Life is about relationships. When you're doing. And clearly, when you have a band. There can't be anything more important than you have, man. I love. I tell our band we, we live together what nine days out of the six, <laughs> and uh, we've had like we've been together yeah, a long time, but like eight months of it, man, we've had to learn each other very, very quickly. Like nice. I'm a lot to take in, dude. And so they, you know, I come in fucking with all these ideas and bam, 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 and Pierce comes in with the punch me in the eye. No, I'm just, that's a story for another day, <laughs> well, podcasters. Yeah, they'll be back. Uh, they'll be back. Uh huh. And we're gonna have some more members with oh, us. Oh, for sure. And, and you saying that you're a good. lot to take in. How do you guys take in the different personalities, and how do y'all cope with, you know? This person may like things this way. This person likes it this way. I want to do this. How do y'all cope with those We love everybody situations? Well, equally, I think a lot. We love everybody equally. And at the end of that, we fucking like, it's, my opinion is 2023, you know? So, like, it don't matter. Like, so I'll share a story and what, or experience and mm -hmm. really just believe whatever. And, you know, and I tell people whatever I'm saying, take whatever you believe mm -hmm. and Throw that into whatever uh -oh, the fuck uh -oh. is in your brain. You know what I'm saying? Like I got to drop it. Because look, it's 2023. Oh get on board or get the one, fuck man. off the boat. Mm, because right mm, now, mm. I don't give a fuck who did what in the past. It is what it is. I got to And I mean, that. that's just what it is. And other than that, we're all, we, we all bleed red and we're fucking all one. And that's that. And if you really want to get into the scientific that's facts, important. we're all one. Yeah. Do goddamn research. Mm -hmm. Here we are. And so. That's just how I live my everyday life. And I, there's no time for bullshit. No time for whatever, whoever we came from or this and that, like town beliefs, none of that. Because it doesn't matter, in my opinion. This is how I get in the vibe, you know? And uh, you can love the spaghetti monster for all I give a fuck. I don't care. <laughs> you come to our show, we create a, like a safe space and environment right. for you to be yourselves and enjoy music. Because life's, life's hard enough as it is, man. I'm right about that. You know what I'm saying? Like It's hard. It's know, hard. Like, everybody's got their shit. I'll tell you one thing. Life what? is hard, but this drink is easy. That, yes. But what is music for, man? For us to express ourselves right. and be ourselves. Yes. So come well, to let me us. Ask you this. And... Since you... Hold right there. Hold right there. Yep. For you too. Yeah, well, you oh, Pierce. Oh, yeah. oh Pierce. Rico Suave, <laughs> 1369. Chill, Chill, Pierce. Since you're speaking on that, now you're trying to go off what the host got going on. No. You said, me, you said music. Oh, no. oh, oh, well. Hold my dick and watch so, this. So, 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 music is for <laughs> I'm not going to hold your dick. You better go find some. He hit you with that Marshawn Lynch, man. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Don't you put that shit out here around me while <laughs> I'm talking. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, so, with, with music is for expressing yourself, right? Yep. What you think about using lyrics in the courtroom? 
Mm. I think that's I'm glad you brought that up because we mm. can go there. I mean, I'm kind of with it. I mean, it depends I, on no, 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 no. He's saying, how do you feel about the courtroom using lyrics to indict an artist? Oh, hell no, man. What the? Oh, I guess that just. Yes. Actually. I don't, that's know what's I don't know if you guys it, are no, man, that's, familiar that's with YSL. It's Young about, about oh. yes, 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 the Rico case it's going about, on. Oh, it's about expressing yourself, right? Yep. So, because uh, some people are a product of the environment, mm-hmm. and some people don't do what is in their environment, but when they make these songs, they talking about their partner's lifestyle, uh, people that they seen in their neighborhood. Stuff that was in the stuff. past that they so experienced. So, how can yep. you use this kind of stuff in the courthouse? So, that's why, now, now that I said that, Answer the question. Now. So, no, for real, no, hell yeah. Honestly, personal opinion, that's fucked because you get, what, if you get into a freedom of speech is one, and then you get into a bunch of other things, and I mean, like, uh, you're a product of your environment, just like you said, and as long as you're not incriminating yourself, you oh, can oh, be- buddy, see, I don't like that word, incriminate. incriminate. I don't like that. Yeah. Well, I don't know how to spell but, but, or none but, but, of that I, shit. I understand. So you yeah. gotta know how to Give spell. me a new word. But what I'm saying is- Give me a new what? word no, no, to put buddy, with that. No, 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 no. What you need to understand is, what you need to understand is, Let me get a picture. if a man is getting on a record mm-hmm. and I'm expressing yep, with the yep. freedom of speech mm-hmm. about what he knows and what he's seen- Yep. With you know, no name dropping. Uh, yeah. A lot of people okay. say that what rappers are rapping about ain't true. They ain't telling, they telling lies. Well, so if they telling lies, why does it make it to the courthouse and they're all of a sudden telling the truth? Mm. So, that, why are you yelling at and the de- Oh, nah, man, you yeah, said yeah. a damn thing. <laughs> Hold yeah, on, yeah. man. And the details of that. Come on, pretty hot. Speak it. Yeah, hey, y'all, are you, you going to let me speak it or not? God damn it, come on. I've been waiting on you to be quiet for a second. <laughs> yeah, damn, no. damn, hold on. You man. pretty odd. You go with the vibe. Come on. I'm still waiting. Pretty odd. Go with the vibe. But listen, check it out. So, yeah, I, the whole courtroom thing, I don't know the scientifics behind it, but I do firmly believe if they're preaching or rapping about their lifestyle and choices and they don't put no names in it, then... I mean, who the fuck is anybody else that say they are rapping about this, this, and that? And, and you can put it in any genre, but who is somebody else to say they, they didn't grow up in that environment? Mm-hmm. They don't know what the fuck went on in the streets. Mm-hmm. They don't know this. They don't know that. They mm-hmm. don't know this. So who are they to okay. say, so, and I don't give a fuck what race, yeah, religion, race, background exactly. you goddamn are. Or genre. Genre, whatever. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you tell me what I did or did not do growing up or how I lived my life mm-hmm. growing up, or anything fucking else, I'm gonna tell you to kick fucking rocks. Straight hey, like that. Big bag. Pretty eyed and everything else, big man. They run that shit okay. to the bank and back. So, <laughs> you got to answer your motherfucking question? Yeah, you do, Mr. Yep. Yeah, I told yeah. you all that shit. Alright, so, Pierce, you gonna chime in? Yeah, yeah, well, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Well, nah, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Nah, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Nah, I, think, I, think place, I think on the other side, I think on the other side, it's important to use your expression, to use your art, like to to uh, back yourself. Like, I, if, if it's used in the court like that, I think that's really important. Like, if you can protect yourself, protect your own name, protect mm-hmm. your reputation mm-hmm. through your music, and people tell you that you've been telling lies about what you are and who you are, mm-hmm. well then, yeah, you should send off those people and say, like, you know what? Fuck you. It's called defamation of character. We yeah, suing that ass. Yes, we are. Yep. Our hell band's been there and done that, what, and not on the same extremes. But like, best believe, we we definitely endured some of the, the same, I guess, complications. Yeah, and I, you know what I told oh, you guys that have. Patient, I don't got yeah. to go lost. Really? Like, asses in a fucking heartbeat. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Not, is that something y'all, y'all, y'all can? Yeah, well, but is that something you guys can talk about? People, like, 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 um, yeah. Dicks. Well, just on like a. Yeah. Uh, Short level, like, <laughs> y'all know who y'all are. Y'all play with me. <laughs> just, on, just on a short level, watch it, this. <laughs> a lot, a lot of the things that uh, really came up was kind of like almost profiling for yeah. for us, but not. I wouldn't say profiling because I feel like that's that's a term that we as white people can't like really mm. take. It wasn't really profiling for me. Well, I mean, technically, it's, you know? we are all equal and we all agree but, on that. But, but, yeah, but it was I, profiling. I, hell yeah, we're hippies, man. It was profiling. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was I profiling agree. in hell that yeah. sense, yeah, yeah because yeah. everybody yeah. thinks we're just a dope you know, smoking hippies. Uh-huh. Stoner group, you know? Mm-hmm. And I, I can understand that. Like, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, it's 
we're we're out here making art. We're out putting our intelligence on paper. Yeah, right. you know, so creating that time machine. Who's who's for them to say that we're just a bunch of shit kickers? You know. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Who are they? Yeah. yeah fuck I mean, yeah. He, when's the last first. time they put intelligence on paper? Now, Satchel Page, I need you to throw that curveball. Yep. Give it to us. Uh huh. Yeah. Come on. I think y'all weren't expecting that. Come on. <laughs> got I know What's you up? got something. <laughs> So I'm ready ahead, for it. Hit it out there. there. We were you ever had black pussy? <laughs> yeah. I dated a Jamaican for five years. That's how I got into Bob Marley's house and blessed by the Rastafarians in Kingston, yeah. Jamaica. You tell me how many white motherfuckers yeah. y'all know went and got a cab oh, and a bodyguard yeah. to motherfucking Kingston, Jamaica. Oh. And you, go ahead. I'm listening. Because mm. <laughs> I think he knocked that one yard. I was like, hell yeah. He hit that one yard. He was going yard. He was, he was going, KC, he was yeah, on that. He yeah. was going, KC, man. Come on, KC. You ain't put no steam yeah, on that yeah, thing. He was on that there idea. was no steam. You yeah. threw that, man. Yeah, man. Ah, yep. Pierce. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah, uh, I speak oh, for me. Yeah. I don't know. Leave my man's alone. Ooh. Fuck all that shit. have his death. If I'm running, I'm running. Have you pierced some black pussy? I am not. But I want to. Give this man some black pussy. I would love that. Yes, hey, yes. Ladies out there. Well, if you want to get a piece of that pierce. I will speak. In hit us up in the DMs. Hit us up in the comments. We will get pussy. that to pierce. Please do it. Oh yeah, we will get that Honestly, to pierce. Girls, Let him met, pierce they, something. We're, we're talking to worshiping, <laughs> worship, worship, worship. It's 2023 out here, man. Gotta get, gotta get odd. You yep. gotta, you gotta worship. get pretty odd. Yeah, I mean, you're talking, you're talking about some come to Jesus moment right there for me. Oh, oh. Damn. Oh, yeah, that chick oh, yeah. from two weeks ago must have said, oh, what'd she do? Yeah, Jamila was beautiful. Whoa, yeah. God damn. <laughs> yep, yep, oh, yep. No. He stole her from me, man. Show up. <laughs> I was so pissed. <sighs> so do y'all do? Do y'all deal with, like, groupies? Oh, my God, yes. That want one member, and a member's like, damn, I had dibs. What the yep, fuck? Yep. How y'all go about yep. that? I ain't going to say no names. Y'all rock, paper, scissors? I ain't going to say go. no names. I'm sorry, but... You know who you are, and look, first red flag, if she looks like Brittany Murphy from Camp from 8 Mile, you already know. Oh red flag, right out the back. Oh, whoa! Yep. Whoa. Come on, man. Rest in peace, Brittany Murphy. No, nah, well, I don't give a damn. That's what she look like. <laughs> Brittany Murphy will find another I girl. know, man. She ran and broke my heart, man. God. She was taking that black dick 8 Mile. Bro. I don't Come give a damn what man. she was taking, but goddamn, she had that shit. Broke my heart, man, a little boy. I ain't gonna say no names, but I'm so, yep. Mm, it is mm, what it is. And mm. also, if she, if she refers herself to Penny Lane off Almost Famous, which I did not see at the time, but then once I saw the movie, and it You're turned like, in. Wow, that's problematic. Wow, that, yeah, because Penny Lane's the head of the groupies in a rock and roll band. So, yeah, yeah. And she, was, screw, she in the movie, she screws over everybody. Everybody, dude. So I was like, so for this chick to just be new and tell me that, I'm and like, say, hey, well, I'm, I'm like this chick. I'm, a, I'm like Tommy Lee Times 10. I'm a hopeless romantic, man. So I get my heart broken. So, long story short, fuck all groupies okay. and never fall in love with. No, actually, not. Actually, yeah, fuck all groupies, man, because I'm not, we're not an object, okay? God damn it, this ass ain't free. We worked hard to get off Good the corner. Good God. And we ain't not Hey, shut up to my dog, rest in peace, Fetty. He yep. said this ass ain't free. No. You can't be out here fucking for fuck free. No, you think man. you're going to get some dick for free? Yep. Hell no. Nope. Come for the fee. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> Run that. <laughs> yeah, right, Peter. That's true. Rest in peace, Fetty. So, we're going to get to a little part of the show. I think it's some of our uh, Blacks and Tequila Head fan favorite. Um, this right here is going to be called Real Spill, presented to you by Damo. Let's hear that oh, real shit. spill for the week. Well, we got them pretty odd members in here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Up mm-hmm. through there. Yes, sir. Yes, we, we just going to pop off with a vibe. The word is that's vibe. That's a vibe. My yeah, favorite that's tattoo a vibe. It says right here, vibe, vibe. with me. Ooh, Check come on, out. let me, hey. I got, I got one love and vibe, vibe with, with me. me, baby. Uh, uh, so the let's, vibe. Go, let's do it. <laughs> Is the emotional state of mind. Mm-hmm. And it's so important with that vibe. Mm-hmm. I found myself in 2023, I get on Facebook or I come across people, I come across with saying it's important with the energy. Hey. And the vibe that I'm around. Are you fucking serious? Mm-hmm. Speak up. It's important that I 
am around that certain vibe and energy. You know what I mean? You know, you know, positive vibes, yeah. negative vibes. Yep. And I've chosen that word vibe this week because of who we had here and just it's important to be in a certain vibe. So I would like to let y'all know, we can keep this nice, simple, and sweet while standing on your business. Good. Get in a vibe, not a negative vibe, but a positive vibe. And that is the emotion, no, state of mind. So make sure you're in a positive mind. You wake up. You're doing whatever you're doing. Be positive with it, man. Stay in a positive state of mind. Be positive, man. Don't nobody owe you shit. Because you woke up late going to work. Don't nobody owe you. Stay in a positive vibe. You're in a traffic jam. Nobody told you to get your ass up. You knew you should have got up at 430 and you got to be to work at 5. Yes, sir. Yep. You know what I mean? Stay in a positive yep. vibe. Drink your fucking coffee. Listen to a good tune. You know what I mean? Vibe. You hear one? It's yeah. pretty odd. Also, if you can't, you if you can't odd, change so it, God God damn man, yeah. Pierce, you, yeah. you, you stay in it. You coming on the real spit. Come on, if Pierce. you can't change it, don't sweat it. If <laughs> you can change <laughs> oh, yeah. it, yeah. don't so, sweat it. There you go. It. And that's mm, the real mm, motherfucking mm, spill. Mm, we are pretty odd in this motherfucker, y'all man. In the comments, it's a vibe. Tell me what y'all vibing to. What y'all vibe in the comments? Y'all vibe with this? Y'all vibe with that? Let us know. Hey, and y'all also gotta remember, man. We got Malibu Matt coming on the next episode. I'm yeah. waiting for that one. Yeah. Malibu and Matt. Talking about a trip. We wait for Matt, Matt. Malibu Matt. She is. That's Stevie Nicks. She's in the another world. Oh, she has yeah. sure. Y'all stay yeah. tuned. Y'all stay tuned. These boys about to get down on that pretty odd shit. Stay tuned, yes, Tariq. Uh, what we at? What, what we did? Wonder, yeah, if you guys got a plug, IG, Facebook, shout it out. Let the, let yeah. the fans know um, what it is. So we do have a Facebook page. Um, all of our tags are under Pretty Odd NC, apart from our YouTube page. Which is pretty odd band, mm -hmm. um, and we uh, want you to go stream our Spotify. Uh, help us get those likes, uh, and also uh, come on our Instagram platform. Yes, we've got, uh, yeah, lots yeah. of really cool stuff out there. Huh? And, and, uh, uh, you guys, yeah, where, yeah, where can they see you guys? Oh, you guys the next show? Boys, All right, we're so the next show is actually in Beaufort, North Carolina. Crew bar, and we're playing I can't crew fucking bar. Wait. On January 14th, this coming Saturday. Yeah, yeah, y'all better yeah. be out there. I'm coming. Check it out, Food uh, Bar, both for North yeah, Carolina. Yeah, we're what time? Yep. Uh, we're playing, uh, let's see, we're playing eight. at 8. 8. Yeah. Nice. I'm coming. There it is. I'm eight. pretty sure, right? Are we going to roll up to the gig look, early? Hell yeah. yeah. Right? yeah we're gonna, look, we, we like to interact with all our fans. Like, like I said, so we... Collective individual, and guess what? Carteret County, it's time to wake the fuck up, wake man. Up. Time to right wake now. up, Carter it's County. It's 2023. Hey. Oh. And there you have it. This is Black and Tequila. You guys got pretty odd in the building. Thanks, appreciate it. Yup. I tell Remy back. No play kick. Pump fake it. Niggas acting like they want it with no chaser.